what's up y'all scenes by joy bringing you another behind the scenes so today we are going to shoot my friend kayla i had came up with a dope little concept for her i was actually inspired by this photo shoot that i had seen on pinterest but i'm going to remix it and put my own scenes by joy touch on it um, you all will be going with me today to get the stuff that I need for the shoe and also to see the things that I need to do to get myself together. If you don't know, I am originally from East Texas, Carthage, Texas to be exact, and I have not been home in a while. If you know what's going on in the world, you know, inflation, gas prices, it is getting extremely expensive for me just to go home and visit my family. I wasn't able to go home for a Father's Day and my grandmother's birthday um, because I knew that basically when they wanted to see me, it was going to be three weekends back to back. So I was like, let me just save all that for this weekend, drop off presents, <laughs> go ahead and see my loved ones, have a good time with them. And then I just got it all out the way because I know that I probably won't be able to go back to East Texas for the rest of this month. And then August is my birthday month big leo energy you already know how we come in and then i actually start back my nine to five in august so i know that the end of july and august is going to be extremely busy for me so i'm trying to go ahead and get that family time in now with that being said i literally as you can see my hair looks a ghetto hot mess i cannot go home looking like this like brows not done nails not done hair not done my grandma is gonna freak out and like, just be wondering, like, am I in Dallas struggling? I mean, I'm not struggling, but I'm definitely balling on a budget. Um, I'm probably not going to get my nails done because that's one of my finance sacrifices. If you want a video on how I do my finances, just let me know. Just comment below and let me know. I can give y'all some tips on that. But if you know me, you know that I love having my nails done. I've always been that way ever since I was a Ever since I was a little girl, I just kept a fresh set. But with me trying to save for a home, trying to invest in some businesses, for me to just, you know, just take my own personal business to the next level, I know that I need to cut back and make sacrifices. So that's one of the things I'm doing. I'm making sacrifices and I'm giving up nails for a little bit. I probably will get my nails done for my birthday, but I'm probably just gonna pop these off and just give me some cute press on. I mean, yeah, because when you're spending like a hundred something dollars, you know, oh, sorry, the sun. When you're spending like a hundred something dollars on nails every two to three weeks, it's all right adding up so yes so what i'm about to head to now is my eyebrow apartment why did i say apartment my eyebrow appointment and then in between that i'm gonna try to find a beauty supply because my beautician will be doing my hair today i just wanted something sleek something simple it's hot i'm not in the mood to sit down and get braids so i'm just gonna do a sleek back braided ponytail i will show you guys that um and honestly i'm not really a makeup girl you're not going to get any makeup tutorials on my channel honey this is strictly chit chat behind the scenes photography videography media lifestyle like that's what you're going to get out of me so as long as my hair is done and my brows is done and i can pop these off between now and tomorrow morning give me some press ons i am totally fine with that and plus it's just too damn hot sorry my opposition it's just too damn hot for me to be trying to you know get some makeup to put some makeup on like i'm already not good at putting makeup on but it's just too hot for all that so yes that's what you'll be getting and also i'll be taking you all with me it is dark in my house i keep walking around trying to find the perfect light okay there we go and then you all will be going with me to um see the things that i bought for my friend photo shoot and i'll also be filming the behind the scenes with that so stay tuned and i have more to come okay guys so i have made it to the beauty supply because I was being lazy yesterday. I was being so lazy. I literally did not get off the couch yesterday. But it's a certain type of hair that my beauty should need to do my braided ponytail. And I'm just trying to steal and borrow time. So my eyebrow apartment, uh, why do I keep saying apartment for appointment? My eyebrow <laughs> appointment is at 11.15. It's currently 10.38 right now so i'm just up the street i'm just gonna run into this beauty supply see if they have this braiding care that i need and yeah so 
so that's what we're finna do finna get that because my hair appointment is at noon and my hair appointment is probably about 25 minutes away from getting my brows done so i just like for my schedule to go boom 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 i don't want no waiting leisure time so right now we're gonna go in here let me show y'all yep we're just gonna go into beauty rs See if they have the braiding care I need. I pray they do because I don't want to go anywhere else. And that's that. Okay, guys. Um, I love the beauty supply. Like, honestly, nothing brings me more joy than going into the beauty supply. And I want to just go in and out. I told myself, Joy, stay focused. Just go in there, get the hair, look at some of the jewelry for Kayla's shoot today, and get out. No, I didn't. So let me just show y'all some of the things that I got because I love a good beauty supply shopping. So I got, this is the hair that my beauty teacher told me to get, the Rua. I think I'm saying it right. She told me just to get one bag, but I think I want my braid a little bit thick. I don't like thin hair. Like, I don't like thin wigs. I don't like thin braids. I wanted my braid a little bit thick. So I got two 30 inches and two bags. So hopefully she can do that. Is my lighting good? Maybe I should turn my car light. That literally didn't make no difference, whatever. I look so rough, but anyways, I had to get me another spray bottle because when I'm doing my natural hair, you know, I like to spray it. So I can say hydrated, so I need another spray bottle. I got two pair of earrings. Now, I don't know if I wanna go, I was gonna go crazy on the chains, gold chains with Kayla and my best friend, who's a stylist, who was featured in Kim's behind the scenes video. She was like, well, if you go crazy with the chains, don't necessarily do a statement earring, just keep it simple. So, and then I got a pair of earrings that like I would wanna keep afterwards, cause I love a good hoop. So, I was like, we may do like the thick hoop, then I also got these, they're smaller, but they're really detailed because I'm still trying to work out what I'm gonna do as far as her necklaces go. Um, I got like this other little gold chain. I just think that's a dope little piece. Can y'all see that? So, and I will wear it after the shoot. Even if I don't use it, I still will wear this chain, so. And then I'm doing like a red under the eye thing. My cousin Kimmy had got me an eyeliner pencil that was red, but I also just backdoored and got like this little eyeshadow palette because I think I want that to be my stick. My camera winded, like it winded. So ghetto, oh, I'm trying to start my vlogger life back. And then I knew I was gonna vlog today. I knew for sure I was gonna vlog today, but I'm just not thinking that, oh, let me go ahead and charge my camera. I literally was just screwing off this morning. I should have charged my camera, but I probably would charge my camera um, at my hair appointment and just vlog on my phone until then and just insert these clips. I mean, you all get the picture. But as I was saying before, I just rudely was cut off on that camera. I hope that camera got everything that I was saying. <laughs> but my cousin Kimmy had got me a red eyeliner pencil. And um, I just don't know if it's gonna be as deep as a red by itself. So I went ahead and got like this palette because I saw that they had a red in there. And I kind of want that to be my signature for my models. Now, if somebody book me for a photo shoot, of course, you know, I'm not gonna tell them how to do their makeup. But when I'm doing a concept and for my models, I kind of want to always do like a little under the eye little look with a little color. So I got that to play around with Kayla today. And as I had told y'all earlier, like, I'm taking a break from getting my nails done. And I'm probably like, always want to go to this beauty supply because it's way more popping than the one by my house. So, they had these press on. So, like, are these not, like, cute as fuck? They were only $6.99. And look at that length, baby. Look at that color. So, I'm probably going to pop these off tonight. As y'all can see, they ratchet. I literally, has had, I literally have had this set since before I went to Dominican Republic. I went to Dominican Republic June 4th. I got my nails done, like may 30th so this set has been on here from may 30th today is july 1st so i have had this set for a long time so i'm just gonna probably pop these off tonight have these get the brows done get the hair did put a little foundation on for the coverage might not even do that much do a little lip number and honey she's beat she's done that's that's it that's all i'm gonna do to get ready for this weekend because honey we are balling on a budget it is in inflation do y'all feel me like we're cutting back we're making sacrifices we're we're not worried about looking like we have it because we're trying to save so we can really have it in real life we're trying to save houses we're trying to invest so yes so right now it's 11 o'clock i'm literally right down the street from my eyebrow appointment so i'm about to go ahead and head there and then i will let y'all know once i pull up to my 
um, hair appointment and then I will take y'all inside Walmart with me like I said earlier so you can see the rest of the stuff that I'm going to get for Kayla's shoot. Hey guys, so I am at my eyebrow appointment. Another thing I want to mention, I am so not the lash girl. So my friend does bomb ass lashes. Like she did my lashes and they were so cute. But I'm just not that girl. Like I'm kind of at the age at the point of my life to where, you know, the aesthetic girls who do the lashes do the brows do all that like they be cute they be having it popping but i just have to know what's for me what's for joyce you know and you know i tried it they were cute but i literally rub my eyes so much <laughs> like i rub my eyes so much that you know honey they did not last for me i did not do right i did not obey the rules so no so the only thing i really be caring about is just my brows i just love a good brow a good lipstick combo i don't look dry as fuck right now but that's just really how i am and then my brow lady rosie i literally been going to her for like i think like three years three three and a half years because I mean, I just like her. I'm the type of person, like, if you do a good service for me, I'm going to be loyal to you to the very end. I probably would never, ever go to anybody else but Rosie unless I move. But I literally was living in East Texas for a year. And I would not get my brows done until I would come to the city. So, yeah. But I just texted her, told her my size. She told me to go ahead and come in. So, I'm about to go ahead and handle that, get these brows done. Because I'm looking ragged into these brows, so... Let's get into these brows, though. Yes, ma'am. Because I always tell her, like, girl, like, clean it up, nice shape, leave myself thick. Because my brows do not naturally grow thick. And just me going to her, because I mean, let's get to her. Just me going to her naturally. She just shapes them to where it look like I have brows. So when I do feel them, she got a little aloe vera right there. So when I do feel them, it's just slight just slight just giving more definition because brows make the face i'm i'm sorry you can conceal you can uh what the makeup girls call it bake whatever you want to do but them brows a toe up from the flow up don't none of that matter to me like at all i don't care like even if i have like um paid to get my makeup done or whatever and my brows not right i'm not right i don't care about nothing else but these brows honey so my girl Rosie did what needs to be done, period, poo. Okay, so now we're about to head to Cedar Hill to get this hair done because I'm tired of this little. I literally just took my braids down yesterday, but I'm tired of this little bun. It's just, it's just not, it's not giving. It's not giving. So, yes, we headed to Cedar Hill now to go get this hair done. Okay, you guys, so my hair appointment was scheduled for noon, but my beautician told me that she needs to push me back until 1, which it worked out perfectly because I had to go get stuff for Kayla's photo shoot at Walmart, and I was going to do it after my um, hair appointment, but I was just like, okay, well, I got a free hour. Let me just go ahead and get Kayla's stuff now and get it out the way. So I'm only like four miles from my hair appointment or whatever. So I was like, yeah, because once I get my hair done, I'm going to want to take my ass home. So honestly, it just it just worked out. You know, it just worked out. So I'm about to get ready to go into Walmart right now. I'm going to show y'all some of the things that I look at. And I think while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and get some of the things that I have planned for Lex, um photo shoot. That will be another behind the scenes coming to you all. So yeah, let's go ahead and go in this store real quick. Okay, so I did not realize that candles was this expensive oh, but anything for content i really like these green candles but i had already did like a little green little number with kimmy under the eye and then since i'm doing under her eye red i don't want to get green candles because that's giving very much so light christmas and we want to stick to the aesthetics so i think i'm going to get the tall red one this one and this one to put in the corner i really wanted to put the whole um entire tub full with candles but honey these prices these prices cannot do so we're just gonna you know we're just gonna roll i may get these and put them in another corner but i don't know we'll just see we'll see okay so for my friend leg shoots i kind of uh, was inspired to make her hair look like a tree branch type ordeal. 
um, like a flower pot tree bench type thing. And she has a lot of hair. So I'm thinking about, Lord, okay, cutting a hole in the center of this, in the center of this, stacking them, sliding her ponytail through it and like covering it with the ponytail and then sticking different plants inside. I have a vision here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these too. Go ahead and get these. And I decided not to get the four pack. We're just gonna roll with these, okay? Just that. And it's just for my personal home. Okay, guys. So I got all my Walmart shopping out the way. Thank God. Like, really, they had some good stuff in that Walmart. Like, crafty stuff. So I have Lex stuff out the way. I have Kayla stuff out the way. I'm headed to my hair appointment. But one thing about going to the Walmarts in the black neighborhood, baby, they have a little charity event going on. I don't take the whole plate. Got me a little orange soda, too. So my hair for a minute, one, it's gonna take me 11 minutes to get there, so I need to go, cause I'm gonna be about five minutes late. But we're headed there now, and I'll let y'all see the finished results. Okay guys, hair is done. We just got a little sleek little look right here. This is my beautician first time doing a ponytail. She gave herself like a B plus, but I think it's cute. Like it's a thicker braid, but I think it's cute. We're gonna make this work for a little weekend. This a dude put the little press ons on. So, now I'm about to get ready to head back to my apartment to set up for Kayla. Well, I lied. I'm not finna head to my apartment right now. I think I'll give me a snow cone because I'm just craving a snow cone. Like, I have been, the heat make you hungry. But the hair is done. We are slicked up. Brows did. I probably will pop these off after I finish with Kayla, put the press ons on, and then we done with it. And I'm gonna show y'all the actual footage of me doing the photo shoot. I know this is like the behind the scenes of the photo shoot, but I do like to take y'all throughout the day with me to know like this photographer life gets real. It's not a matter of, oh, we just plan a shoot and we just jump into it. Like your photographer has a life too. So I have to schedule my life around my models. So I knew I needed to go ahead and get brows done, get my hair done, figure out my little nail situation didn't get the props and stuff like that so you went on the day journey with me i'm headed to get my snow cone and then after the snow cone i will go home and then it'll be time to get ready for kayla's shoot yes and then i need to charge my camera because i don't know how this will look when i edit it you know well y'all be seeing this now as it's edited but i don't know if this camera can i look like i have a filter on me i don't know what y'all think i don't know well, it don't matter because by the time y'all watch this, I'll already be published anyway. But yeah, we'll get into the nitty gritty. We'll get into the nitty gritty very soon. So stay tuned. Hey okay, guys, so I'm gonna put y'all on real quick. If you are in the Dallas area and you come to Cedar Hill, like I like a little kid. Like, why my lips and teeth are already blue? I brushed my teeth this morning because I always feel like when people teeth and their lips turn the color of the food that they're eating it's because they didn't brush their teeth in the morning. I definitely brushed my teeth this morning. I don't know why. It's Whatever. That's besides the point. If you're in the Dallas area, be sure to come to Cedar Hill and stop by, let me see the name of it, Sweeter Hill Snowballs and Snacks. There's also another black owned barbecue place behind me. Let me see the name of it. It's called Fat Girls Barbecue. Like, I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to try that. But I can tell that their food is bussy. This snow cone, bussy. And look at the details. It's so cute. Like, so cute. So, yes, tap into it. Now I'm headed back to my side of town, okay? Okay, you guys. So, we are back at the house. I'm getting ready to shoot Kayla. She has arrived. I'm going to walk y'all through what all we're going to do. I'm going to have to be the stylist and the makeup artist today. So, um, Kayla is already here. She's ready for me to go ahead and put the look together, for me to run the bath water, for me to light the candles, get all the jewelry on her. This is gonna be really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all all of the great things that I got set up. Okay, so we have the earrings from earlier, the chains, the makeup look, we have the candles set up. And then we have Kyler. Say hi, Kyler. Kayla is my model for today. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. All right guys, so we have Kay. Now I'm not an MUA, so do not judge. This is for aesthetic purposes only. <laughs> so we got the gold details, we got the lip, we got the under eye, we got the thin earrings, the couple minutes, the nose ring, we have the hair. I think we are ready to shoot, trust the process. Yes, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get the bathtub. Hopefully our bubbles have not went out. Y'all, 
I put four bottles of I put four bottles of bubbles into this bathtub, like, and this is all this got. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work, honey. Like, yes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get the candles and get her started. She was the best model ever. She is so bomb. Ooh, I ain't gonna hot. show the goodies. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> It was a successful shoot day. It, it was. Got content was. by any means necessary. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let her have bath time. So I'm gonna let her have a little privacy. So let me close the door. Oh, let me get my lighter. Real quick. There you go, girl. <sighs> but yeah, shout out to real friends. That shoot was so good. Like she naturally killed it. Like I cannot wait to show these pictures off now i probably will have these pictures inserted or they will be inserted i will probably put these on my portfolio but regardless where is the light where's the light but regardless you will see these if you have not seen them if they're not inserted in this video go check out my website go check out my instagram the information is below make sure you click on it and that wraps up behind the scenes with scenes by joy Shout out to my girl Kayla. I've been with me all day. She just got work. I'm tired. She's tired. That's a wrap, baby. We got this work done. Period. Mm -hmm.